please put a like and subscribe. Rashi and the Monk Rashi was on his journey to a place and over there he sat down in the base midrash to learn Torah. When suddenly there was a knock at the door, Rashi asked the person who came in, What are you looking for here? This is a Jewish place of worship, he told the monk. Don't be afraid, I've come in peace, said the monk. So Rashi asked, What have you came for? I am a learned man and I am searching for the truth. The Christian religion is full of holes and contractions. And over the years I have studied various religions, said the monk. I would like to study the Jewish Bible, but I want to hear it from a Jew and not just from the Jewish books. No problem. You are welcome to ask me whatever you'd like, said Rashi. Over the course of several weeks, Rashi taught the monk the foundations of Torah. The monk now said, Now everything is so clear to me. This is obviously the truth. Several days later, I haven't seen the monk in already days. I wonder why. My heart tells me that something is wrong. I will go and visit his home. Oh no, you must see a doctor before it's too late, said Rashi. The solution is dire. I'll tell you exactly which medicine you should perform for him said Rashi to the doctor. Very well, said the doctor, because I myself do not know of a cure for his illness. Under Rashi's care of the monk, the monk slowly recovered. The words of wisdom that I get to hear from you are reviving my soul and spending my recovery even more than the medicine that I am receiving, said the monk. A short time later, the monk completely recovered. How can I ever repay you for saving my life, Rebbe? If not for you, I would have long been dead. Don't thank me. Our holy Torah commands us to help every human being. Still, said the monk, at least accept this expensive, beautiful necklace from me. I don't want to take anything from you, but I do want to ask you for one thing. Anything for you, Rebbe? What is it? If you ever see a Jew that is in need of help, promise that you will help him, just as I helped you, said the Rashi. I will, I will, I promise, said the monk. Rashi continued on his journey. It in Prague, several years later, what a big schuss! Rashi is coming to our city. Everyone in the community is going to come out to greet him. Even the children, said the children. Honored Rav, Baruch Hashem, you made it. So much honor is being given to a Jewish rabbi. I won't allow it, said the governor. Tadis, come here. What can I do for you, your governor? Send policemen immediately and arrest the Jewish rabbi. In my city, such honor will not be given to a Jewish rabbi who denies our holy religion. The guards went and said, We have an order to bring you immediately to the governor's palace. How is it possible that just when he arrived in our city, the Rav is being facing such terrible disgrace, said the people. Oh no, oh no, they all cried. We will send messengers to the governor and see what this is all about. Though the truth is, I'm sure he is just jealous as usual. I would like to go see the governor, as usual. I will be worth this while, said the people, said the messengers. I'm sorry, but we received strict orders not to allow you in under any circumstances, said the guards. 
the other people now are saying, the Goyim. Now, the perfect time to start up with the Jews. I'm sure that the governor won't help them now. Now, one Jew was saying in his helm, Who would have believed that just this morning we were joyfully celebrating Rashi's arrival amongst, amongst such honor and respect and now he was thrown into prison, and we are all hiding in fear from the robbers. In the prison. Ever since you have been arrested, wild rats have broken into the Jewish quarter. Oh, Rabbanu Shalom, have mercy on your children, Rashi cried. I'm going to invite the bishop over. He is a very learned man. Let him decide what we will do with the rabbi, said the governor. Ah, you came. Very good, the governor said. Bring the rabbi here, said the governor to his niece. And now the governor is telling the bishop, I arrested a Jewish rabbi that all of the Jews admire. I would like to arrange a public debate between the two of you and after you win we will force all of the Jews to convert. That was the evil scheme of the governor. They brought the, the Rashi. Now the governor is saying, ah, the Jewish rabbi is here. The bishop is thinking in his mind. Oh, oh no, that's the rabbi that helped me survive. Now he's telling the rabbi, Reb Shlomo Yitzchak, my dear Rebbe, why you are the monk that I studied with. I recognize you right away. What's going on here? Honored governor, you should know that this holy and righteous Rebbe saved my life and nursed me back to health. Besides, even if I would have wanted to thress not to change, it would that would have succeeded in winning Rashi in a debate. So basically, you're saying that it's not possible to win Rashi in a debate. If that is the case, then I will let the Rebbe go free. Thank you, Hashem. You see how Hashem arranges everything who would have believed that as a result of my kindness toward a monk i would now be saved what can i do for you my dear rebbe the jews in the city are constantly persecuted please use your influence to put a stop to it remember how you promised that you would help the jews i wondered is that word send your officers to restore the order in the streets i will do so immediately i must admit that i was very impressed by the fact that the jewish rabbi saved your life and by the special bond that you share from today on i will treat the jews with respect said the governor I want to convert and become a Jew, said the monk. As I've told you in the past, we Jews aren't all that eager to accept converts, especially in the time like now, when we Jews suffer constantly persecution. But it is clear to me that this is the only truth. Until now, I kept pushing it off with different excuses. But now that Hashem has arranged for us to meet again, I am certain that it is a sign for me. I see that you are very eager from your heart and that if you truly recognize the truth of the Torah, however, if you convert, there is this condition. It is bound to ca cause trouble. Atishamayim. Well then, what should I do? I suggest that you 
secretly leave to Spain. There, the Jews are treated with respect and enjoy religious freedom. I'm happy to write you a letter of recommendation, said Rashi. This is not only a heavenly sign for him, it is a sign for me as well. I've come full a full circle. It is finally time for me to return home to my wife and daughters in Troyes. The End